Hello, my Libra besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are doing fantastic. I wanted to hop on here and do readings for all the zodiac signs for the month of February. So if you want a more comprehensive reading, go check out, am I boring you? Go check out your moon, rising, and Venus sign. But let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you like and subscribe. Really helps push the videos out to people that definitely need to see it as well. And let's get started. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, Libra. Putting good energy into the cards. God, energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do my Libras need to know for February? Please and thank you, Spirit. Whoo, okay. We got the Six of Cups in reverse. So you're definitely letting go of the past, healing that inner child, focusing in on your future, maturing, you're growing up, bestie, which we'd love to see out here. With the Page of Wands, definitely you're enthusiastic about your life. There's definitely something coming in that you're excited to have, a creative new spark, something along those lines. Definitely could be someone who is younger than you. Could be this King of Pentacles. So this King of Pentacles could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, Taurus. Definitely someone who is well-grounded, knows what they want, is stable, you know, is really focused on that energy and leveling up and building an empire. With the Seven of Wands, definitely you're standing your ground, standing up for what you believe in. No, no one's going to back you into a corner. You're taking control of your life. You're realizing you're in control of your actions, your reactions, and your emotions. This is leading to the Wheel of Fortune. So good luck, you know, effort in your life, you know, closing out of those karmic cycles. Definitely there. this is destiny. There's chance. Good luck. You're getting this mental clarity. So could be dealing with an air sign, fellow air sign, um, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But definitely you have this new idea this new pathway, you know, you're getting that mental clarity, possible communication from someone. But I think, you know, you're seeing that there's light at the end of the tunnel with the nine of swords in reverse. You're letting go of that negativity, that stress, that need to go ahead and control, to be codependent, to, you know, hold on to people, places, and things a little too tightly. I think you're ready to take this leap of faith, jump into this new energy, splitting the deck, Really, you know, having this adventure, this carelessness, this freedom that you deserve, which is bringing in the lover. So you got this new opportunity at love, um, at life out here. Definitely a shared morals, values, ideals, shared connection. You want the same things, which is great to see. And there's final balance out here. So the two of pentacles bringing this together. There's definitely the opportunity for this to be equal give and take a partnership out here you know, juggling the life, you know, there's ups and downs, but sticking with each other and working through it. Splitting the deck, we have the four of wands and then the emperor. So this is marriage material coming together, building that empire. Like I said earlier, the white picket fence, the house, the dogs, the kids, the cats. And with the emperor, this is zaddy energy. Doesn't have to go ahead and be a divine masculine, but they are in this energy. They want structure. They know what they want. They're bold. They're confident, and they're going to get after it. The number you'll be looking out for is 444, that confirmation that this is for you. But yeah, this is definitely someone who, you know, wants to take control, see where things go, really be a little bit demanding sometimes, could be an Aries, but someone you can depend on and has their priorities straight. But let's go ahead and jump to La Rasha's deck, Libra, and see what else you need to know. What do my Libras need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Yeah, definitely you had some shady people around you. Snakes around me, betrayal, enemy, I used to trust you. Definitely a situation where you had to see people's true colors. You got the download. You're trusting your intuition. You're expanding your view. You know when you need to release people, walk away, when you deserve better. So someone definitely ran away from this connection, was not vulnerable, was not open, was not honest. That's probably why you stood your ground, focused on your finances, got that mental clarity, and you're welcoming in someone new. So I choose me, self-appreciation, self-love, self-worth, and you deserve this. This is a secret mire coming forward, 
ready to tell you how they feel. They've definitely been thinking about you, my love, and they're ready to get grounded. They're ready to no longer be in fight or flight mode, build this foundation, build this home with you, and really build that empire like I was saying. No longer feeling like they have to second guess things. Do you have ill intentions? You don't because we got the abundance out here. So you're accepting all positive outcomes. So definitely could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But definitely this is health, wealth, love, gratitude, everything you want and more. Bottom of the deck we have, I'm fighting for you. So this is Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Definitely someone who is bold, confident, passionate. And they know that you have a lot to offer, the golden child. So you're definitely the chosen one. You're protected by whatever sky daddy you believe in up there. But I'm telling you, you're a whole entire vibe. Your energy does not lie. This person knows that they're not going to find this with anyone else. They're definitely ready to come forward with the throat chakra and tell you how they feel. Definitely they're ready for in a relationship. They're ready to take this risk and be open, honest, and vulnerable because they feel very passionate. They don't want this to go away. You make them feel some type of way, bestie. I'm just saying, you're probably going to have a good time with this person. They love you, so it's a mental, physical, spiritual, you know, connection. It's deeper than just a friends with benefits, anything along those lines. It's definitely something that's long-term, a mind, body, soul, spirit connection that you deserve and that you desire. It's your, you know, wheel of fortune, right? It's like hitting the jackpot. It's manifesting exactly what you want and what you need. But let's go ahead and jump to the Angel Answers Oracle. I want you to think of a specific question, Libra, and I'm going to get you some answers. This has yes, no time frame answers as well for other guiding words. So think about that now and take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do my Libras need to know about their situation? What do my Libras need to go ahead and know? Anything else? Okay. We're going to put those back. Well, first and foremost... The answer is yes. So I'm just letting you know the answer is yes. Communicate clearly. So speak to God, universe, source, whoever you believe in. You know, start doing those affirmations, putting it out to the universe, what you want, what you need. That now is not perfectly the right time. I think this is a slow burning energy. But there's going to be someone that comes in your life that is going to be helpful. If this is a relationship, a mentor, a boss, there's definitely something that you've been wanting and asking for depending if that's in your love life, in your career, wherever you've been putting that focus, you're going to get some mental clarity out here. The universe is saying, wait, be a little more patient because I'm telling you, you need to go ahead and listen to your intuition on this situation. You're getting downloads, you're getting signs, you're Googling signs, you're getting dreams. Pay attention to your dreams, especially because the universe wants you to know that there's something better out there for you. You are limiting yourself. The universe wants to deliver, bless you with many different abundances in your life. If that's, you know, in the love, in the career, both, you know, in the home, whatever you want, because the answer is yes. So double confirmation with two yeses. I always say this yes is kind of like, you know, your higher self with the sun and then your shadow side with the moon. And it's really that energy of balancing and realizing there can't be light without dark. And I'm just telling you, this will be successful. It's just going to take a little more time. But in the near future, it'll be worth it. In the next, you know, two to four weeks, you're going to start seeing things come your way. And it'll be really exciting. I think, you know, you've put in a lot of time, effort, and energy into this situation. And now it's finally time for the universe to deliver and you not to feel like everyone has an ulterior motive or someone's out to get me or they're always going to leave Kelly. There's going to be that deeper level where it just feels natural. It feels calm. It feels like everything you've ever wanted and more. You deserve this, Libra. I'm so happy for you. I hope you have a great February. Make sure you go ahead, like, and subscribe. It really helps your girl out. 
and you'll be up to date on the other readings coming your way here very shortly. And like I said, check out your moon rising or Venus if you want a more in-depth reading. But I will catch you on the flip side, Libra. Have a fantastic day. Bye.